All right, moving on to Health Watch now. Washoe County Health District officials confirm mosquitoes in the Damani Ranch and Hidden Valley areas have tested positive for West Nile virus. There have been no reports of human cases so far, though. Ryan Kennedy joins us live on Hidden Valley Drive. And Ryan, you spoke with experts. Why is this happening down there? Well, Kristen, really, it's because of areas like this. It's places that are wet, kind of marshy, and also the weather that we've been having lately. It's been hot, it's been humid with those thunderstorms we had. So if you're going to be in areas similar to this, you're going to want to pick up some repellent to help protect yourself. A complete mesh uh, shirt uh, with a hood encompassed, and that actually encloses you uh, from any type of biting insect. As you can see, there's no shortage of options when it comes to shielding yourself from mosquitoes. You would actually light like a candle, and the fumes come out of this and actually create an airborne barrier. And with so many choices at a consumer's disposal, outdoor experts say every person should be proactive in protecting themselves when threats like West Nile exist. If you're on the, the beach, you're, you're at a high risk when the sun goes down. That's where the mosquitoes come out. But if you are having to go through the real marshy areas, that is their main, main breeding grounds and, and where they tend to live. It's near these wet areas where health district officials will begin to increase mosquito surveillance and insecticide fogging efforts immediately. We also have portable light traps that we place throughout the Truckee Meadows so that uh, see if we've got other positive, if we have positive mosquitoes in other areas as well. Helicopter abatement will come later this summer. Until then, people who will be outdoors during early morning and evening hours need to use any of the repellents that are available in stores. Because a mosquito's bite is more than just irritating when it's carrying the West Nile virus. Risks include flu-like symptoms and in rare cases, even death. The fatality rate is, is relatively low, but even getting the mild version of it, I mean, it's serious in the sense that people uh, may take weeks or months. It just depends on your, on your age to rehabilitate. And if you'd like to report nighttime mosquito activity anywhere around the Truckee Meadows, you're going to want to go to the online version of the story. That's where you can find the Washington County Health District's contact information. Covering the story live, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News.